Okay, this tutorial is for constructing the orthocenter of a triangle. As you know, uh, the orthocenter is the intersection of the altitudes of a triangle. Now, drawing an altitude in a triangle is actually pretty difficult. This is one of the harder constructions, I would say, because what we actually need to do is we need to create a segment that goes from a vertex to the opposite side but is perpendicular to it. So the construction that we're going to use here is we're going to construct a line that is perpendicular to a given line through a point not on the line. Um, if you need to, you can refer to my tutorial on that construction before you start this uh, to have an idea. Um, so what I need to do is I'm going to construct an altitude from this point to this line and then I think I'll do from this point to this side of the triangle right here. So remember what I need to do is I actually need to start by creating a segment uh, on this here line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this out a little bit because I think I'm going to need a little bit more room. So I'm just going to extend this side and then I'm going to put the point of my compass on the, on the vert vertex I'm interested in and just open up my compass so it's more than uh, the, so it's farther than the side of the triangle and then I want to mark over here and I want to mark over here and now what I've created is I've created a segment that is part of this side and if I do the perpendicular bisector of this segment it should go right through that point so now I'm gonna follow my perpendicular bisector construction you should all be a pro at this one by now Here we go. So I should be able to line these three up. And now what I know is that this line is perpendicular to this side of the triangle and it travels through this vertice, which makes this an altitude. So now what I need to do is I'm going to draw another altitude going in this direction right here. So again, I'm going to extend this line a little bit so I have a little bit more room to work with. Whenever you're doing a construction, you're always allowed to extend lines if you need to. So I'm going to put the point of my compass on this vertice. And I'm going to have to open it all the way. I'm not going to have a ton of room to work here, but that's all right. So there you go. Here's one intersection. There's the other. And so now I need to do the perpendicular bisector of this segment should travel right through this line. So I'm going to put the point of my compass here, open it up more than halfway. Turn it around, we'll do the same thing on this side. There we go. And now I should be able to line this up. My ruler's not long enough, so I'm just going to use this intersection and my vertice. And that should be okay. It sh if I did my construction properly, that should still work. There we go. So now what I know is that this is perpendicular right here, and so this is also an altitude. Now, again, as with the other two constructions, or other three constructions that we did, you don't have to do all three um, altitudes. You can just do two. The third one would be implied. It would travel right through here. And so the intersection of those two points right there is my orthocenter.